Welcome to QNE Software, a GST compliant accounting software for your company. In this video, I will show you several customizations in the Customization Center. Now, for the first customization, I will show you how to change Lookup Property Search Behavior. What is Lookup Property Editor? A lookup property editor refers to a drop-down list associated with a collection of objects, which will look like this. If the lookup property's data source has less than 50 records, all of these objects will be retrieved from the database immediately as shown. To optimize performance, if the data source of the lookup property editor contains more than 50 records, none of these objects is retrieved and the search feature becomes available. By using the search function, objects will be filtered by the given keywords and loaded into the list. Now I will show you how to change the default limit of loading 50 records. First open up the customization in the Tools menu. Then open up this model. And go to Options. And at the Lookup Small Collection Item Count, change the value here. We can also force the system to load all items regardless of object counts. For example, I would like to change the loading behavior of the stock list in quotation detail view. So we navigate to views, QNEBSBO sales, quotation, underscore quotation detail collection, underscore list view, then select columns, then select stock. At the lookup editor mode, change to all items. Now let's log off from the system to let the new settings take effect. Now log in again. As you can see, the stock list will be fully displayed in the drop down list. There is also another option called All Items with Search. This is where the search function will appear. Now for the second customization, I will show you how to lock stock items sales price for other users. First, let's create a new security system role. Let's call this role Junior Executive. At the drop down list, select All. Then on your keyboard, press Ctrl A and give All access. At the drop down list again, select Stop. Then double click into stock item. In the security operation permission screen, tick navigate only. And at the member permissions tab, click on new. In the members field, select sales price, then click on OK. Remember to tick on the read checkbox. We will also have to add another member operation permission where we will select all except sales price. Untick the checkbox and tick on read and write. Let's save this and close. Now create a new security system user. And at the roles, we assign the junior executive role to Tom. Now let's log in as Tom. Then let's take a look at stock item.
notice that the sales price is now dim and cannot be edited. Now I will show you how to update transaction records in bulk and enable allow edit in the grid. In the customization center, go into the model and search field, type payment underscore list view, then double click on it. In the allow edit field, change it to true. Now let's log out of the system for the settings to take effect. Now let's go to the payment voucher grid. As you can see, we can directly change the payment by values. For the next customization, I will show you how to change the navigation bar. In the customization center, click into the model. At the navigation items, look for navigation star. Change it to nav bar. Now log out of the system to let the settings take effect. As you can see, the navigation panel display has been changed. In the next customization, I will show you how to create a validation rule to control the selling price cannot be less than the purchase price. First, let's go into the model. Then in validation, right-click on rules and select Add Rule Criteria. Key in the information as shown. Then save. Now, as you can see, the purchase price for this stock is 60 cents. Let's create a sales invoice and the unit price we set it to less than 60 cents. As per our settings, the system will prompt out an error and do not allow us to save. For the next customization, I will show you about evaluate expressions. Let's say I would like to add two user-defined fields, width and height. The unit price is per square feet. So system will calculate the quantity by using the formula width multiplied with height. So I would like to add these two new user-defined fields in the quotation screen. So let's open up the customization center. Then navigate to QNEBS, BO, Sales and look for quotation details. In there, look for own members and right click, then select Add Persistent, then key in the details as shown. Repeat the same steps to add another field for height. Now to set up the evaluate expression, in quotation details, right click evaluate expressions, then select add member evaluate expression, then key in the following details.
Now let's issue a quotation. In the quotation details, right click and choose column chooser. Click on add and select width and height, then drag it to the column header. Now let's select paper as stock code and the width is 20 and the height is 5. Now you can see that the quantity automatically calculates as 100. For the final customization, I will show you how to customize and display multi URM in sales invoice format. In the customization center, in BO model, QNE BS BO stock, open up stock and at the own members, right click and select add new persistent. Fill in the information as shown. Do the same thing for UOM2. Then save and log out from the system. Log in back to apply our customization to the layout. In the stock item, as you can see, we have multiple UOMs. Right click on the header and select Customize Layout. Add UOM1 and UOM2 to the layout. Then assign the values to the field and save. Now let's issue a sales invoice with the particular multi URM stock. As you can see, the current format of the text invoice only shows one UOM. So let's customize the report now. The first UOM that I want to see is bags. So in the title, I change it to bags. Then at the sales invoice detail collection, Right click and select Add Calculated Field. Then in the expression, type in the formula of the calculation and give it a name. Now drag the newly created calculated field and apply it to the field. Next, I want to add another column to reflect the other UOM. So right click here and select Insert Cell, then rename it. Remember to add at the Details column as well. Now create another calculated field and define the calculation formula and rename it. Finally, apply the second calculator field to the field and save this report. Close the invoice for the new report format to appear. Now let's preview using the new report format. This is how it looks like. If the value has too many decimal places, go back to the report designer Click on the small arrow at the corner of the details view Then at the format string, click on the more button Select your desired format here and resave the report format
This is the end result of the customization. As per our settings earlier, the formula to calculate is quantity divided by ULM1 or quantity divided by ULM2. Since one bag equals 10 units, so 13 units will equal 1.3 bags. As for cartons, one carton equals 12 units, so 13 units will be 1.08 cartons. Thank you for watching.